In this intro, you'll learn how the CLX1000 can be used to stream or log Canvas data and how SavvyCan can be used for analysis of the data. We'll cover key features like sniffing and sending of CAN frames, plotting of DBC decoded signals, and various reverse engineering tools. First, let's briefly introduce the CLX1000 and how it can be used with SavvyCan. Overall, the CLX1000 can be used in two ways with SavvyCan. First of all, the CLX1000 can be used as a CAN bus data logger to record raw CAN bus to an SD card. To do this, you simply connect the device to your CAN bus application, for example, a car, truck, or machine, and leave it to record data in standalone mode. The CAN data is recorded in CSV-style log files, which can be opened in any text editor or script. These log files are also natively supported by SavvyCAN, making it easy to load them. The CLX1000 can also be used as a CAN bus interface to stream CAN data via USB to a PC in real time. In this setup, you'll connect the device to your CAN application and then via USB to your PC. The real-time data stream is open, meaning you can integrate it with any custom application via scripting. However, if you're simply looking to analyze your CAN data in a GUI tool, SavvyCAN provides native support for connecting the CLX1000 via the connection window. Let's look at some of the powerful tools available in this free software GUI. First of all, SavvyCAN provides a user-friendly trace view of the raw CAN frames. You can display this in a scrolling window or in overwrite mode, which provides a simple overview with one entry per unique CAN identifier. When you're using the CLX1000 as a CAN bus interface, you can also control what CAN frames are being transmitted by the device in real time. Savvy CAN lets you send static CAN frames with fixed values, or you can specify advanced CAN frames with dynamic payloads. In addition, you can even replay entire log files from the CLX1000 back onto the CAN bus with the correct frame sequence. This powerful feature enables you to, in example, use the CLX1000 as a simple simulation device, and it can help diagnose various issues in your CAN application. As evident, the trace view will, by default, display the CAN frames in raw form. However, you can easily load CAN databases, aka DBC files, which lets you decode the raw CAN frames into physical values. This works for both CLX1000 log files and for the real-time data stream. The tool supports practically all DBC files, including our DBC files for J1939, OBD2, and NMEA2000. If you need to visualize specific CAN signals, you can easily create graphical plots using custom decoding rules or info from a loaded DBC file. The plot configuration can also be saved to enable easy reloading between sessions. A popular use case for SavvyCAN is CAN bus reverse engineering. Here, the tool offers a powerful sniffer view, which colorizes the CAN data bytes or bits in response to changes in their values. This tool is great for identifying discrete signals, such as door locks, windshield wipers, buttons, etc. By performing a physical change while monitoring the CAN sniffer view, you can isolate which CAN ID is relevant and then afterwards identify which bits or bytes contain the actual signal. If instead you need to reverse engineer a continuously changing CAN signal, such as a state of charge or engine speed, the sniffer view is less well suited. For this type of use case, you can instead log data to the SD card of a CL2000 during a trip while noting down the physical values from your car's dashboard over time. Using, for example, Excel, you then create a benchmark plot of the signal values from your trip. Within SavvyCAN, you can load your trip log file and use the range state tool. This tool lets you specify a set of hypotheses regarding your signal. Based on this, the tool produces plots for all possible CAN ID and data byte combinations. You can then quickly scroll through these plots and compare them versus your benchmark graph to help identify the decoding rules for the signal, including the bit start, bit length, scale, and offset. SavvyCAN contains several more tools like the fuzzing and flow view, which you can learn about in our online intro article. 
In the intro, you'll also find use case examples and case studies from the end users. Further, the intro has download links for SavvyCAN and log files from the CLX1000, which means you can test out the tool today. Note also that you can use SavvyCAN to directly stream data via USB from our CAN mod sensor to CAN modules, including our GPS to CAN and thermocouple to CAN options. Go to our website to learn more and contact us if you have questions.